Hey, what's going on guys? I have a tutorial here for uh, isometric character using GameMaker Physics and GamePad. Um, what I have initially is uh, eight different sprites for walking, eight different sprites for idle, and these are assets from uh, Diablo 2. And I just have a simple background which I found on the internet. So, first off, we're going to need to create an object. Call that object Claire. Need a create event. In that create event, we're going to initialize, initialize some things. Um, image speed. We will set to 0 0.2, um, and then we're going to need a few variables: sprite direction, and uh, also going to need a uh, magnitude and uh, x-axis and a y-axis. That's it for the create event. Uh, next we'll do a step event um, in here. We're going to uh, pretty much do everything that we need to for this particular object. Um, so first off we need to input from, from the game pad. Um, for that we're going to do x-axis equals gamepad underscore axis value and that's going to be zero gp underscore axis lh and then we'll set our y-axis equal to gamepad underscore axis zero gp underscore this LB. That will get our gamepad input um, and give us a value between negative one and one for each of the axes. Uh, so we need a magnitude. We'll set that equal to point distance. And that's going to be from 0, 0 to x axis, y axis. And that's just going to give us the, uh, a magnitude for each of the directions that we're going to be using our joystick in. And next, we're going to move the character. All right, so I'm going to say if magnitude greater than or equal to 0 0.6 and also if the absolute value of x-axis is greater than 0 0.44 we're going to set our physics speed in the x direction equal to three times the x axis. Else, if that condition isn't met, we're going to set our speed to zero because we don't want we don't want to move uh, simultaneously in two different directions for very long. Um, and diagonally. So we'll do this again for the y axis.
so that will set our speed in all of the eight directions that we need to if we are not moving um, we want the character to stop quickly so we will set up an else statement setting each of the variables to zero that's it for movement next we will do um, getting the direction of the character to um, to send it to our sprite uh, so if magnitude is greater than or equal to 0 0.6 uh, we're going to set our sprite direction equal to point direction from the 0, 0 x-axis again to the y-axis and we're going to add uh, 22.5 to that because we want to compensate for the um, the, dir the character going in a straight 90 degrees um, you know north or south east or west and um, <clears throat> the way that game maker is set up it's it goes from 0 at the 90 degrees all the way to 360 again so you would be changing sprites from 0 to 45 we actually want to change the sprite from negative 22.5 to 22.5 and uh, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit too. So this is going to be div 45. That will give us a number between 0 and 8. Mind you, that's nine different sprites, but I'll show you in a second. So once we get our sprite direction, we can now set our sprites. And so we're going to say if magnitude again greater than or equal to 0 0.6 you can change these, these numbers too, they're, they're just numbers that I've come up with that work pretty good for this this uh, character so we're going to switch our sprite direction and case 0 going to be sprite index is equal to sprite zero and these are all corresponding I've named them accordingly to the direction that they're going to be pointing in and then don't forget a break statement so we're going to set up uh, nine different cases of this It's probably too many, but that's all right. And we're just going to go ahead and change them all to the corresponding cases. Okay, so for this last one, um, case number eight. This is the case when we are pointing from uh, three, 350 something to 360. Um, we actually want to change back to our original sprite zero, which points to, to the right.
and I'll just close off all the brackets for that one. <clears throat> and then we're going to need a uh, a copy of this block here, and we'll just set it up for our idle sprites. Idle sprites. So this is going to be else. And we'll get rid of this magnitude part. Else, if, if uh, magnitude is not greater than or equal to 0 0.6, we're going to switch our sprites to the idle sprites. Okay, so that's it for our step code, and another thing is this object is going to be used in physics. I'm going to set our linear dampening to 6, and everything else can pretty much just stay the same, um, just to use whatever sprite, doesn't matter collision box, that doesn't really matter at this point, uses physics, uh, let's say OK, and we need to create a room, um, we'll just do a whatever room, um, use our background picture, this is also going to need physics, set it to 0, 0.0, in the y direction. Um, let's see, we'll throw in our character object. Settings, that's all fine. And we'll set a view. <coughs> um, this one I'll just go, I don't know, 720 by 500, whatever. Same thing here. Actually, I'll go 480 by 320 or something. And we're going to follow our character. I'll just have a border of 200 on each side. And that should do it. Let's see what happens when you run it here. Grab my gamepad. Okay. So we have a character moving in eight different directions. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching.